Good morning, modern steaders. We went to dinner at a friend's house last night when we left. We left with a bucket full of scrap food for the animals. Yeah, we're that crazy friend who wants to take your leftovers home or your what you didn't eat at home and feed it to our animals. Let's see what we got. We brought some corn over, roasted some corn. Bet you the pigs will like them. Oh, they're starting to dig up nicely. Good morning, girls. Good morning. You've been working hard, it looks like. Your dirty face again. They're gonna love this. Oops. I know we enjoyed that corn last night. I know they're going to too. And then look. <laughs> ah, we'll save one for the chickens. Not only do we get to enjoy a wonderful dinner and fellowship with friends, our chickens get to, and then we get to enjoy some wonderful eggs from them. It's just a cycle that just keeps on giving. What's not to like about that? And then we got the Icelandics out by themselves. The Icelandics are loving all the green leaves on the little shrubs over there. That's what they've been going after mainly. You guys enjoying that corn? Bet you are. You know what we need to do that we haven't done? We haven't planted our pumpkin seedlings yet. So let's find our new shovel. Found it. This thing is nice. Let's go put it to work. I have a video that I did at the Mother Earth News Fair about these tools. The guy who makes them, I think he's from Missouri. They're all handmade, forged in his garage. He does weld. He says he does what he needs to to make the best product for us. So if you guys want me to edit that video and upload it, Leave it in the comments below and I'll edit it and get it out for you. Let's go get the pumpkins planted. You going? Hey, where you going? The pumpkins are over here, Pluto. There you go. All right, we gotta find the pumpkins. Let's get some pumpkins planted. We're supposed to get some rain tonight, so that'll water these in nicely so we don't have to do anything but dig a hole and put them in. Look how good soil blocks work. Look at all those roots. Nice. This is the best trowel I've ever used. Look at the worms. 
Look at the worms. Loving it. It's when you know you got some good, oh, more worms over here. That's when you know you got some good soil going on. I can't get over all these worms. Look at that. Those are two different ones. You can loosen up the soil nicely. These things definitely needed to get planted. More worms, look at that. Look. Tell me this isn't gonna be some good garden soil. Another worm. Last one. So if the squashes and everything don't do good here this year, more worms. I'll put the cabbage and broccoli and stuff like that over here. Look at that. Oh, another one. Whoa. When we're ready to go fishing, I know where to come digging for worms. Look at that. Three worms and one little shovel full. One little homestead iron shovel full. Look at all those worms. All right, last plant, let's put it in. Here we go. Put it in with the worms. If our winter squashes, summer squashes, zucchini, cucumbers, and pumpkins don't do well over here, we know there's not enough sun. That is some awesome soil. So either next year or maybe this fall, if these don't do well over here, I can plant our broccoli and cabbage. Maybe this will be an awesome cool weather or cool temperature plant. We'll find out. I think we just got a comment from one of you modern steaders. Let's look and see. Ben Newman commented, why does that one rooster look like he has a shaved back? I don't know what you're talking about. I don't think any of the roosters have a shaved back, so it might just be he has more white feathers in that one spot because he's a barred rock. Leave me some more information. I don't know which rooster you're talking about. Was he in with the barred rocks in the chicken tractor? Or was he in the mobile coop? Or was he in that chicken tractor with the two other Icelandic chickens? You're too vague. Leave me some more information. I got way too many roosters here. But thanks for the comment. We love getting them. Keep them coming. I think the rest of these plants are going to get fed to the chickens at some point. We have no place to plant these guys. Come on, Pluto. Let's go. This way. Come on. Oh, I lied. I got two more plants I need to plant. These are two squash plants from our buddy Sean in Burke Mountain. So thanks, Sean. We're going to go finally plant these. So I don't remember what kind of squashes they are and who they're from. They're a pretty cool squash plant. Sean, if you're watching the video, leave it down in the comments below and let us know all about these plants you gave me. And thanks again. All right, I'm going to plant both of these on the end of rows so that way I remember them. But these are rooted up nicely too. Look at that. We're just taking this off so we can see how good the roots are. Look, that's beautiful. Sean, you did an awesome job, man. Thank you. Get those planted. Oh yeah. I'll leave that right here. Let it compost. Let's get our last one in. That's another nice one, Sean. Thank you. Look how good all these other plants are doing. I haven't done any watering over here. They look amazing. We had a couple of hitchhikers with us. We'll put these back over here. What I need to do with all my extra seedlings over here is I should plant them in my hay bales that are spent and covered with chicken manure. We should see how those grow. I don't have time tonight to do that. 
but we should plant some of those in the hay bales and see how that works. That'd be another fun, exciting experiment. So the modern steaders want to know, do you like that big old gigantic pothole filled in? Yes, it's very nice. Do you like it, Olivia? Uh -huh. Is it a smoother ride? Uh -huh. Please, why don't you come over here and smell the kelp and tell us how it smells? Oh, smell it, what do you think? What does it smell like? Are you supposed to smell this? The ocean. Let me smell it. it smells good. I don't smell ocean. Put your hand there and pick some up and smell it. What? Is it smell like... That's what it's called. I don't know. a bad ocean. <laughs> not a good, not like, oh, I smell the ocean. It smells like... Well, that's like... not, but I think of the ocean smell. I don't think of it a good ocean smell. I think of it oh. a fishy ocean oh. smell. Well, I thought it was going to smell good. Like, oh, it's the ocean. No. <laughs> Like, oh, this looks like good sunscreen oil. No, like yeah. stinky fish ocean. Oh. Ooh. Well, our mission tonight is we have two incubators going. This one right here, the humidity reader is not accurate. So, and this one we think is. So we're gonna switch our eggs that are almost ready to hatch from this one to here. And we're gonna put our other eggs in there. We can kind of know how much water we need to put in there every day to get this to the right humidity. And then this one will be the older eggs. They'll be ready to hatch out with day we on. Day 16, so in two more days on day 18, we gotta take the turners out. And then we need to switch them over just to hair and keep the humidity higher. So let's get doing it. I'm afraid to put my hands on my face. Why, because they smell like the ocean? I don't know. And not the good ocean? I'm gonna switch them over, Libby's. They smell like the ocean. Now you gotta put this one to there. Get there. These ones we don't think are in the way. That one there. This one's a maybe, so I'll put it over more. And these two we're pretty sure aren't any good. You don't think those ones are good? Mm -hmm. Alright, we'll stick the cover back on this one. So you need to write this down over here. more water in both of them. Oh yeah. Okay. That one kind of has a brown tinge. Is this the right kind of egg? Yep. So tiny. They are tiny. I think it's the same as last time. Awesome. So now we have two batches of Icelandic fertile eggs in our incubators. We have day 16 on one, so less than a week we're going to be hatching out our first batch. Hopefully we'll keep our fingers crossed. <laughs> right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So until tomorrow. So thanks guys. Thanks for watching today's video. We hope you really enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Share it. It's really been helping our channel grow and we appreciate it. And we'll see you right back here tomorrow at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom. Bye. Bye.